What's up guys, some of my worst days as a real estate broker, coming up. What's up guys, Steve, Steve Invest helping real estate brokers, real estate agents, small business owners achieve happiness and financial freedom. Right now it's August 31st, 2019, we have uh, Hurricane Dorian coming to uh, Florida. It looks like it's not gonna be a direct hit on us because we're over on the west side, southwest Florida, but uh, it's looking at the east coast, skimming along the, the coast over there. If you guys hate devastating storms like hurricanes and tornadoes and fires that devastate homes and families, give this video a thumbs up. So the market crash of 2008 really had devastating effects on the real estate market, especially in Florida. Um, you know, we, we started our real estate organization and founded it in 2006, my sister and I, just a small brokerage, and uh, really not anticipating any kind of correction or crash like we experienced. So we had to scramble and we had to scramble fast. Um, again, it was devastating. There was a lot of real estate agents and brokerages closing down left and right. And I knew that we needed to change and adapt quickly if we were going to stay in business as well. Um, sales plummeted. Our, our, our growth prior to that was just upstream and every year we were making more and more commission dollars. Uh, market crash almost overnight. Everything started dropping down. And unfortunately a lot of real estate deals were coming out of escrow and falling apart. So, um, and that was across the board. A lot, of, a lot of people lost a lot of money during that time um, in real estate losses as well. But uh, I knew if we were gonna stay into business, we, we had to adapt and change the market. And at that point in time, I just didn't know how. So my sister and I, we, we sat down, and decided that we were essentially gonna sell everything that we had. Um, we sold you know, our, our houses that we lived in. She had a house, I had a condo. We, we sold any kind of luxury items. I had a, a, a boat and a bunch of other stuff that really was more of a liability for us than anything. So I knew step number one, we had to get our ex personal expenses as low as possible. You know, I wanted to keep my expenses so low that um, at the time we had an office, um, it was a two story office that we actually ended up buying and grossly overpaying for it. But um, the upstairs had a, a pull out couch and a desk and I ended up uh, staying there for a handful of months. Um, there was a half bathroom, so I actually ended up uh, using a bathroom at a local gym that was close by um, for you know showering and so forth. So it, it got me through those tough times and um, allowed me to keep my expenses as low, low as possible so we could really figure out what our next strategy was uh, to remain in business. We, we really concentrated on three target markets. The number one was uh, property leasing. A lot of our investors, um, you know, at that time, they couldn't sell the properties because the where they bought, where they had mortgages was way higher than um, what the values were coming down to. So they were kind of stuck. So we ended up leasing, um, representing a lot of landlords and leasing their properties and we concentrated on growing that sector of our business as well so we we're concentrating on other people that uh, couldn't sell their homes or, or absentee owners so that that really assisted in keeping us afloat um, the second approach were short sales and uh, I'm gonna throw another video up for you guys as well so you can see exactly what we did to list and sell uh, short sales in that market. We, we actually ended up listing and selling hundreds of them and uh, helped a lot of people avoid foreclosure and, and made uh, a lot of good commission dollars in doing so. Um, and then the third thing was contacting um, bank asset managers and, and listing and selling bank assets. I think that there are two main lessons that uh, really came from this and you know it, it was such a devastating time where you know we, we were back eating rice and beans and ramen noodle soup. I mean, it was, it was bad. Our income got shut off right away. So we, you know, two main lessons. Number one was sacrifice. If we didn't sacrifice and bring our cost of living and our overhead down to where it's at, where, where we brought it to, then there's no way we would have survived in that market. And the second thing was not giving up. Um, you know, sometimes there, there are times when it, it makes sense to give up on certain uh, certain things that you're, you're trying to accomplish, um, which can lead to more opportunity. But I knew that in my heart, 
that I was not gonna let this fail. I knew that there was a ton of potential in real estate and there was no way I was gonna do anything else besides real estate. So um, by, by sacrificing, I was able to bring that cost of living so low that it provided me the opportunity that um, to not have to give up. And, um, and I, I'm very fortunate and, and appreciative that I didn't go the route of giving up because I'm, I'm where I'm at today because I didn't. My question to you guys is, what barriers have you had in your life and what did you do to overcome them? I'd like to hear about it. Comment below. If you guys like this video, go ahead and subscribe. Hit the little bell notification and uh, we're going to have at least two videos coming at you every single week on helping real estate agents. And uh, by the way, check out this prior to a good storm, Dorian. West Coast of Florida. Gotta love it. See ya.